Yeah, now, the Democratic Alliance held its seventh federal congress in the city of Tswane this past weekend. The party has been faced with internal challenges leading up to this particular congress. Natasha Mazzoni, who is a DA member of parliament and shadow minister for public enterprises, weighed on some of these issues, including the representation of women in the party's top federal structures. Here's more. I think our Congress has really been a, a Congress of hope. It shows South Africa what a diverse and inclusive party we are. And I'm, uh, I, I leave this Congress full of hope and, and more convinced than ever that the Democratic Alliance is, is the way forward and, and is the party come 2019. 2019 is very much in focus and part of the DA's uh, um, fight has been to show that it's really a diverse a diverse political party that can uh, grow to be more than what it was once known as, which is white minority party. Do you think you've achieved this and how do you feel about the diversity clause that you have included as part of this Congress? I'm, I'm absolutely delighted with one thing. We went into a debate and it was an open debate. So Africa heard us debating and I think that's so important because a lot of debates in political parties happen behind the scenes and you don't know what we're debating. In the DA we brought it forward so that the whole country could hear what we were debating. Yesterday two people went on stage who I have a huge amount of respect for and spoke to what diversity really means in our country and in our constitution it says our strength is our diversity. Diversity is not just about race, it's about your age, it's about your gender, it's about your religion. It's about your background, it's your cultural heritage. And if you look around the room today and you look around the leadership of the Democratic Alliance, we are certainly the most diverse party in our country. And the fact that we have specifically put a clause in our constitution to say that we honor the diversity and that we find strength in our diversity, I think shows how serious we are about being a South African party for all South Africans. Do you feel that this Congress will set you up to make good headway come the 2019 elections? Because the DA has not really dealt well in the past with issues of race. There has been a lot of talk around what DA makes of black women, that there is no space for a black woman in the DA. What do you say to such criticism still? And will this conference answer those? I think the criticism is, is, is quite unfounded, actually. I think some of the strongest people in the Democratic Alliance are women, um, and many of them are black women. I, I, I take, for example, my colleague Pumzile uh, Van Dama, who single-handedly made sure that Belle Pottinger fell. Um, she's a, an amazing asset and an inspiration to many South Africans. I think what this Congress has done is it's illustrated to South Africa just how diverse we are. The 2019 election will certainly be one that's based a lot on race. And I think that that's quite unfortunate because in our country, you cannot say that I, Natasha Mazzoni, as a white woman, don't represent you. Because I certainly do. I represent all South Africans when I stand up in Parliament. It's my job. It's what I fundamentally believe in. And in the DA, we fundamentally believe that we represent all South Africans. So I think we have to move away as a country from this narrative that black people have to represent black people and white people, white people and colored people, colored people. We need to really embrace our diversity and fundamentally understand that our diversity is our strength. And that's what I take away from this Congress is that the fact that we are so diverse is what makes us so strong. I think that might be a tough one to sell, but I'll leave it to you, the other politician. But also coming back to the Congress itself, uh, the, the position of DA leader is not being contested and the position of uh, DA federal executive chair is not being contested, but definitely uh, the chairperson and uh, the deputies. And you are campaigning um, against three other people for deputy federal chair. How do you think your chances are come midday? Will Natasha Mazzoni be the deputy uh, federal chair of uh, the DA? Of course, when campaigns to win. And, and you certainly hope that you'll win. And that's, that's the game of politics. We do stand for election. But here's the thing. I look around at the colleagues who are standing against me, and any one of them will represent this DA so well. So if I win, I win. If I lose, I lose to someone who is incredibly capable because the three people I'm standing against I hold in very high regard. I know them to be South Africans who fundamentally believe in, in, in the values of all South Africans. And I, I will be happy whatever the outcome is. Of course, I, I've 
put my name forward. Sometimes you win elections and sometimes you lose. That's the business that we're in. But whoever wins today is guaranteed of my support 100%. And I know that they feel the same way. And what's really been great about this election is how clean and how fair it's been. Um, and it's because we fundamentally know that, you know, we all stand for, for very much the same thing. And we've supported each other in this campaign. And I know it's strange to say it, but it's actually been such an enjoyable campaign because it's been clean and focused. And however the result comes out, South Africa's the winner. Natasha, how important is it that the top tier, the top echelon of DA leadership comes out of this Congress with a good female representation? That's been part of the criticism that's been leveled at this party that's led by potentially three men in the top three positions. What does that say for women in this party? Look, I do think it's unfortunate if we do have an all-male leadership, and there's no getting around that. It shouldn't be the way it is, and, and I, I, I sincerely hope that that's not the case. But I do want to point this out. Women in the DA have a very strong voice, and we use that voice very much so. I have been the voice of state capture, and many of my colleagues have, have been the voice of social grants and, and water, and, and certainly as women, we are not underrepresented. We have a very, very loud voice, and I think it's up to us as women to make sure that our voices are heard and this misconception that the DA you know is run run by men is simply untrue you don't have to be in the top echelon of power in the DA to have a voice in the DA all voices are heard and I think that's very important to understand